Hi everybody, it's Amy from the Children's Museum of Brownsville and we are coming to you with an activity we thought might be neat, especially in the times that we are dealing with right now. So I have some helpers here. This is my daughter, Alice Elizabeth Hi. and my son, Ty. Hi. And we are going to show you what we're gonna do today. So we are going to make a time capsule. So we thought it would be fun because these are historical times right now to put some items in a time capsule. We're actually going to make two. We're going to have one that we bury in the backyard and for someone to find one day in the future. And then we're also going to keep one for ourselves and we're going to open it 10 years from now on March 25th, 2030. Wow. So we're going to just show you some of the things that we did. You can do drawings, you can do newspaper clippings, you can do photos, little trinkets of things that you guys are doing right now. Really whatever um, speaks to what you're going through and what you're, you're doing right now. So Alice Elizabeth, what do you have first? So I have a drawing of myself, my mother, and my brother, and we were all outside playing basketball because uh, we are back to family and we um, were like, well, I don't want to sit around and really sledge out the whole day. So we decided to go play basketball outside. So that's something we did. We also have a basketball to remember that. And then um, I have some receipts. Um, I, you know, you can search this up on Pinterest. That's exactly what I did. That's where most of our activities come from. And then I just modify them. Um, so I've got a couple of receipts. It'll be interesting to see the prices 10, from, 10 years from now, um, what we bought during this time and so forth. So there's some receipts. And Ty, what do you have? I have a photo of me drawing a kawaii style toilet paper. So I can see it's kawaii style. So he's really into doing these drawings right now, so we thought that would be neat for him to do, and we all know about toilet paper, that's all I need to say. Um, so uh, we've got just some little things. We washed all of his stuffed animals. He collects stuffed animals, so we thought, well, let's put a little, little stuffed animal in there. Uh, one of the things that I had the kids do was we rationed out all of our snacks and made snack bags. That way they weren't constantly going to the pantry and just eating everything. And we don't know how long this is going to last and it may, may be longer than we even think. And so um, it's been really helpful. Um, they have a snack bag and they even said to me after they did it, they said, hey, can we do this after this is over? This is kind of cool. So sometimes they find that they're not even finishing the snack. So this has been really good and fun. So we thought we would put that in there and she wrote a little note about it. And then what do you have there, Ty? I have a label of Kleenex because everybody's <laughs> gotta get it. We have Kleenex. I have a little picture of some Lysol and a little emoji with a mask. So it's all sorts of things that you can do. It really is just what you guys are um, experiencing at home. We have pictures of loved ones. We have pictures of them working here at home in their pajamas, just all kinds of things. So we hope you guys enjoy this and we will be bringing you another activity um, every week. And uh, we just hope you all stay healthy and be well. 